I started playing jazz music in the Gold Coast. Africa Speaks, America Answers was my first album. When I went to America, my main idea was to enhance jazz music. The harmonic construction of jazz had gone forward in giant steps, but the rhythm on which the whole music was built was very stagnant. This was an almost magical event. Ganaba, the Ghanaian jazz legend, in a rare performance with his son, Glenn Warren, and his group of fiery drummers. that I wanted to meet most of all was Charlie Parker. He was then the key light in the world of jazz. So I was in Chicago and he came to play the Beehive nightclub. And so I went to, uh, to dig him, you know. But when I was going to the place, to the nightclub, I didn't put on any white man's shirt and trousers and shit like that. I, I asserted my Africanness by going kente cloth and cap and everything like I always do, right? I want people to identify me as soon as they see me that I'm an African because uh, people always thought I was an American from Brooklyn trying to pass as an African. I said, I got a bright idea, Charlie. I'm going to make you an African chief. He says, ha, 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 ha. I said, ho, 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 ho. So how are you going to do that? So I bought a bottle of gin, you know. And I said, I will pray and pour libation and make you an African chief. So he said, okay, okay, boy, you go ahead. So I poured the libation. And I said, from today on, you, Charlie Parker, should be called Kofi, because that's my name. I was born on Friday. And I'm not going to ask you when you were born, but you take Kofi. And he says, Kofi? I said, yeah, what you Americans call coffee. Mr. Coffee is coffee. So he laughed. I took my kente away, off me, and I took his coat off him. And I said, you wear this kente cloth 
to go with your chieftaincy and I will wear your coat as a visitor to your court. So I wrapped the kente cloth around him. He was laughing, everybody was laughing. And I wore his coat. And we took that memorable picture of the yard wearing a kente cloth. And uh, he died a week after that uh, meeting. Jazz. You can hear a dua with a 6 8 time, 4 4 time crossing it. That's right. Then I say, give thanks to God. After you go, left me crying. After you go. Ghana was the epicenter of the Atlantic slave trade, which stole millions of Africans to the Americas. The music went along too. Then one day it came back, blowing a beautiful trumpet. <laughs> 